Which you guys got another video. Your Windows 11 license has been deactivated. That's a message that keeps popping up and a lot of people are complaining about it. There is a little bug with Microsoft where it does deactivate uh, your version of Windows. Also, if you've upgraded to uh, Windows 11 from Windows 10, you can receive this message that says Windows reported that the hardware of your device has changed error code. 0xc004f211 now there's quite a few reasons why this can happen and i'm going to show you some of the things you can do to try and fix it now this error can also happen if you've changed hardware on your computer maybe you've changed your motherboard or cpu or something like that this error can pop up and in some cases you can hit the troubleshoot this will try and troubleshoot the issue you will then get this message popping up on the screen and you can see here it says I recently changed hardware on my device. If you've done that, you can click on this and basically what will happen is it will take you to the Microsoft account. From there, you would have to select the computer that you're on right now and it will uh, hopefully reactivate your version of Windows. But theoretically, if you've changed the motherboard and you're on a digital license, uh, it will deactivate your version of Windows and you will need to sometimes buy a new key and I'll show you basically how you can go about doing that as well. So what you do is you click on here I've recently changed hardware. If it deems your computer as a new computer i.e. you changed the motherboard you will need to buy a new key. Sometimes some people have been lucky where they've put their um, actual email account in here for their Microsoft account, clicked on their computer that is selected in the list and it will basically reactivate that version of Windows even though they've changed their motherboard. Sometimes Microsoft give you a little bit of leeway, but sometimes they will force you to buy a new OEM key. Now, of course, this will activate if you have a retail key, and if you need to purchase any other keys, check out today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. You can buy a Windows 10 Pro or a Windows 11 Pro OEM key. Check out the links in the video description and use my promo code capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order and you'll get a 30% discount over the Christmas period. So basically, all you need to do then is choose PayPal to pay for your key. They will then send you your key and you can head over to the activation center and activate your version of Windows, as you can see right here. Now, if you've recently upgraded to Windows 11 from Windows 10 and you get this message popping up where you've deactivated your version of Windows, Maybe you're using a pirated key or some sort of KMS activator that has caused this problem. And in that case, you would need to replace your key. If you've got a legitimate key and it's not working, you can use the go back method to go back to your previous operating system, which would be Windows 10. If you want to go back until they fix this issue, because it's a known issue where sometimes people get deactivated. And there's quite a few reasons why. Uh, this gets deactivated. Like I said, change of hardware, an upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, and somehow your activation gets deactivated. Or maybe there's some sort of missing file or some sort of corruption there during the upgrade process, and you will then have to roll back and try to fix that issue and then go back again to Windows 11 or even do a fresh install of Windows 11. So you can use the go back feature here to roll back to your previous version. Now, if you do still want to go to Windows 11 from Windows 10, you don't need to go through the upgrade process. You can actually go to Microsoft's website and download their media creation tool and create a bootable Windows 11 media and install that on your Windows 10 system. And it will activate uh, that version of Windows with the key that you have. So it should be activated as soon as you install Windows 11 that way. If you go through the upgrading process like this, a lot of things can go wrong during this process. So always make sure you back up all of your data before you do that. And again, if you've waited after 10 days and uh, you want to try and roll back, unfortunately, that rollback feature has now been removed from your computer. And sometimes using cleanup utilities will remove the Windows.old folder as well, which will shorten the time you have to roll back to Windows 10. In this case, what you can do is go to Microsoft's website and download the Windows 10 media creation tool and create a bootable Windows 10 uh, media. 
uh, from your USB, put that into your computer and boot to it and basically reinstall Windows 10 and it will go back and activate on Windows 10. Any problems for activation, there is a couple of other things you can do and I'll go through those uh, with you right now. Now, like I said, there was a known issue with activation with old product keys like from Windows 7 and Windows 8. Microsoft have ceased uh, support for these keys. Now, you can't use these old keys to uh, upgrade to Windows 11 or activate Windows 11 or even activate Windows 10 with these keys. So basically, these keys are now obsolete. And if you have one of these keys and you've activated it, Microsoft have also said that they know there's an issue with the blocking process because they are using some sort of blocking uh, to uh, block these keys. And of course, this means that uh, there's a problem with the activation where it keeps deactivating. So I'll leave those articles down below. Also, I just want to quickly show you what it looks like if the uh, rollback feature has been removed. That means obviously the Windows the old folder has been removed or you have gone beyond 10 days and you can't now roll back using that method. So that means the only other option would be to do a fresh install of Windows 10 or Windows 11 and it should activate no problem at all. The problem is, is if you have, say for instance, changed hardware on your computer like a motherboard or something like that, sometimes uh, these will not uh, be renewed because obviously a change of hardware deems a new computer according to Microsoft if it's an OEM key. And another thing is if you've used pirate keys or using an old Windows 7 or 8 key to activate Windows, this could be the reason why you're getting deactivated. Because Microsoft are now blocking these older keys and there is a problem and Microsoft are looking into it. Now another thing you can try is rearming your uh, license key and reactivating it using the rearm command inside command prompt. Now if you've had an issue with the upgrade or you've had issues with Windows and maybe you've got a corrupt operating system trying to fix that might re resolve the issue. Or maybe if you've done an update try rolling back and uninstall that update and see if this works. All you will need to do here is open up command prompt. So go down to the start button here and search for command prompt by typing CMD and then right click on it and run this as administrator. This will open up the command prompt box like this. And all you need to do here is try to rearm your activation. So all you need to do is type in here SLMGR space dash and then rearm like so. And once you've done this, push enter and a little box will pop up saying Windows script host uh, command completed successfully. Please restart your system for the changes to take effect. Now, of course, if this keeps happening, you don't want to keep doing this because obviously it can be a bit of a pain. You need to contact Microsoft and find out what's going on, especially if you've got a legitimate key and this keeps deactivating. Maybe it's a problem or a bug or something wrong with the activation part and it keeps deactivating. Uh, check the known issues on Microsoft's website to make sure there isn't a known issue with this happening with the latest update. If that is the case, then uninstall that update that you've just put on and to hopefully rectify the problem. Another thing you can do is go to the uh, Microsoft Store here and search for Show Key Plus. It's a free program you can download and install on your computer, and this will give you your product key. Now, again, this is only going to be useful for you if you have a retail key and you want to try to change your product key and put that back into the computer. If you've got an OEM key that is tied to the hardware and this method will not work for you, but basically what you need to do here is you will see the key here. It'll say install key. This will be your retail key. You can then go to the settings panel and then go to system and then go to activation. Once you're inside the activation center, you'll be able to then click on change product key and put in your retail key here and hopefully it will uh, reactivate on that system. Now, like I've said before, the OEM keys are a one-time use. Once they have been used and they are locked to that hardware, you can't really sort of change the product key and reuse the same key. It's not gonna work. So once you've got your retail key here, you'll be able to put it in here and basically click next, and it will then activate on that version of Windows. Now, if you've got it activated on another computer, then obviously it will deactivate because you can only use it on one computer at any one time. You can also use the get help feature if you've not removed it from your computer using one of those debloat scripts. 
and you can go in here and type in here what can we help you with and you can put basically can't activate windows and click on this one and it will ask you to sign into your microsoft account sign into your microsoft account and a little uh, chat window will pop up and you can then basically uh, talk to a chatbot to try to get it to activate and if you can't activate via this method it will give you a number and it will call it it'll be a free toll number and you will talk to a microsoft representative and they will then activate your version of windows for you if there's a problem with windows and you've not done anything wrong they will literally reactivate it for you uh, with another code another thing you can do here is reset your pc you can go into recovery and click on the reset pc keep my files and reset the computer because you may have something wrong with the installation and uh, something is going wrong there now again all of this is if you want to do the last ditch hope reset your pc is probably the only last ditch thing you can try to try and rectify the problem and this should actually fix the problem if you've got problems with the operating system itself again if you're using a pirated copy of windows it's going to deactivate and you're going to keep having it deactivate if uh, you're using one of those activators it's going to happen from time to time and that way you will need to buy a new proper legitimate key anyway but that said i think that's going to be about it if your computer keeps deactivating then these are the fixes that you can do for your computer it's a very common problem for some people uh, and there's many different reasons for it i've pretty much covered all of the reasons in this video so have a good listen don't skip the video because you may miss some of the information that i've actually said in here i've tried to cover everything i can and hopefully you'll be activated and back up and running in no time anyway my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk quick shout out to my youtube members i appreciate the support have a lovely weekend and i shall catch you in the next video thanks again for watching bye for now